Hello everyone, welcome to the first Christmas special video on Supercars of London featuring my own car. As you can see, I'm not dressed as Father Christmas or as an elf or anything Christmassy whatsoever. I'm actually just dressed in old clothes because what we're going to be doing today is going to buy a Christmas tree and seeing whether it fits in this car. So this is a living with a supercar Christmas twist shopping video with the Audi R8. You may remember when I first bought the car, I did take this car shopping, bought a lot of stuff and couldn't get it in the front of the car. However, a Christmas tree is even more awkward, so I can imagine it's probably going to be quite funny. Um, I might hurt myself being as clumsy as I am, but who knows? So let's go and get a Christmas tree and try and fit it in to this car. So a couple things to consider when buying a Christmas tree. You want one to look very traditional. I love the triangular shapes. I love them as big as possible. However, we might have to compromise slightly in a car like this because I'm not sure where it's going to go. I've seen pictures of people buying the light, buying a Christmas tree and putting it on the roof of a Lamborghini and things like that, but I'm not sure. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, whether it's been done on YouTube. Um, but I haven't seen a video of someone trying to fit a Christmas tree in something like the Audi R8. So it's definitely going to be interesting. I'm quite nervous as well. I hope that it doesn't damage my wrap. That's one thing that. I've thought about and whether it will or not is um, it wouldn't be a very nice very nice Christmas surprise if I did damage my rat buying a Christmas tree however it's all fun and games I'm not entirely too sure how we're gonna get to this place that sells Christmas trees so we're just gonna wing it and I think that's the, gonna be the technique of getting the Christmas tree back home is just winging it. Whether we uh, have to stick it, cut it up, half in the boot, half in the, half on the roof, half in the passenger seat. I have no idea what's going to happen, but you can't really buy a Christmas tree and then cut it up and then glue it back together when you get home. Not very practical. So the car's filthy. The Christmas tree place is right there. I'm not too fussed about um, getting dirt, getting the pine needles and things like that onto my car or in the interior because Aspect Valentin can sort that out. Um, it's just whether it's gonna uh, ruin my wrap, which would be an absolute nightmare, but the car's filthy, so I'm not too fussed about the dirt. Let's go and check it out. Nine. <laughs> That's a normal size I'll get. Right, now to get it. Okay. Perfect. No, no, that should be fine. Yeah. I'll uh, go with it. See how we go. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. So we've got a nine foot Christmas tree. I don't even know how long my car is. We're gonna give it a go. Might need a seatbelt for this. <coughs> so it's almost the length of my car. Not far off. How's that? I'm going to take a picture for Instagram.
So I'm doing a quick vlog update off my iPhone and I've got the Christmas tree sat next to me. No seatbelt, naughty naughty. Um, but that was a fairly decent success. We didn't have any rope to put it on the front of the car, um, or on the roof, sorry, not the front of the car, but it's so big, it's like nearly 10 foot. So we've got a 10 foot uh, Christmas tree right here. Um, sort of, I'm gonna get out and show you guys. We've got lots of looks. So this is what it looks like. So yes, good time. We've got the Christmas tree. Now it's time to head home, get the Christmas tree up. Nine foot, might need a, a bit of a snip at the top because unfortunately I don't have nine foot ceilings in my mansion. I definitely don't even have a mansion. Um, so, you're getting lots of looks having a Christmas tree in this car. And I can't see, the visibility is very, very poor now. They love it. Everyone's in the Christmas spirit. He loves it. Everyone loves it. So here we are ladies and gentlemen, the tree is at home, looking brilliant. We had to cut a little bit off the top because um, the, yeah, definitely, definitely didn't fit. But there we go, it's not decorated, no lights on it whatsoever as of yet, but it made it home and um, it's quite a good looking tree, quite a good looking tree. Let's go outside and check out um, how dirty my car is now inside. So the interior, Got quite a lot of um, dirt. Well, there's my door handle as well that's uh, yet to get glued back on. But there's a few pine needles from the Christmas tree there. And do you know what? My side, there's just as many, if not worse. So the interior of this car and the exterior of this car definitely, definitely needs a clean. Aspect valeting are gonna be on the case. It's going to look sparkling. It's gonna look brand new. I apologize to everyone out there that thinks that this is an absolute disaster. It is actually quite disgusting in, disgusting in here. But we've just had a Christmas tree in here. I wasn't expecting it to be as easy as that. We had thought of the idea of putting it on the roof and strapping it to the roof, but we didn't have any rope or anything to attach it to, but it came out quite well with, um, well, it, just, it fitted. A 10 foot Christmas tree was able to fit into the Audi R8. So I'm just trying to get another pine needle out from the gear stick. It is filthy in here. So the next thing for me to do is to at least wash it down. So I'm gonna head off to work and get it hosed down at SB Race Engineering. So thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. There's still gonna be a video coming live on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. So I'm looking forward to that. Have fun and I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, comment, all of that stuff. Cheers.